All right, throughout the drive, I'd like you to follow the road ahead, unless directed otherwise by myself, or by traffic signs. If I want you to turn left or right, I'll tell you in plenty of time. If you're not sure where we are going, even while following the sat-nav, please ask. We'll carry out one reverse park exercise, and maybe an emergency stop. Also, the sat-nav may indicate speed limits that are incorrect, so always go by the road signs. Okay, move off when you're ready please, out through the gate to the left. Then, we'll be following the sat-nav. We should have priority through the gate, as those to the right have a stop line. After 80 yards, turn left, then, at the end of the road, turn right. Turn left. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. Really slow, here, even stop to take time to look to the right, then make sure the lane we're aiming for isn't full up with traffic. This is a Sunday morning test though, so there are hardly any cars on the road. After 300 yards, Go left on the roundabout, and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout, and take the first exit. Checking the pedestrian crossings, seeing if the lights might change. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, and take the third exit. Go right on the roundabout, and take the third exit. Use the inner part of this roundabout for turning right, so we have more room to those using the left lane. After 200 yards, turn left, then, take the third right. The sat nav gives two directions at once here, so plan for the second instruction as well, not just the first. Turn left, then, take the third right.
Take the third right, that's the first. The second. Turn right. Pull up on the left, in a safe place please. Alright, we're now going to carry out the emergency stop exercise, so, along this road I'm going to look over my right shoulder to see if it's safe, drive normally until I give the signal which is going to be, stop. Okay, drive on when you're ready. Stop. Thanks, I won't ask you to do that exercise again. Drive on when you're ready. After 200 yards, turn right. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. Turn right, then, at the end of the road, turn left. The candidate signals before the first road, but escapes without a fault. If anyone had been waiting to pull out from there, it would have been a different story. At the end of the road, turn left. Pull up on the left, in a safe place please. The candidate does well to recognize the bus stop on the left, and not stop next to it. And drive on when you're ready please. The cars on the left are parked, and not queuing at the lights.
After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. When it's safe, could you clean the front windscreen with the washer and wipers please? Thanks. At the roundabout coming up we're going to follow the road ahead, first exit. It's a new roundabout, and one the sat-nav doesn't recognize. The roundabout is empty, but the candidate slows to a crawl, perhaps confused by the instruction, and maybe the roundabout being straight ahead, first exit, but remember roundabout exit numbers can be any direction. It's not always first exit left, second exit ahead, and third exit right. The candidate did do well to keep to the left lane of the two through that small roundabout though. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Just through here to the right please. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. After 300 yards, turn left. Turn left.
Again, the candidate slows to a crawl unnecessarily as they think they have to give way to the right, but it's just a driveway, rather than a junction. We should have priority and follow our road. The van stops and waits for us, and there's enough room for us to continue. Good slow speed by the candidate, as they're expecting to meet more traffic heading toward us. After 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. Pull up on the left please, get to within about a car length of the next parked car. Keep going. That's close enough, thank you. And drive on when you're ready please. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Pull up on the left, in a safe place please. That's the end of the independent driving section, I'll give you directions from now on. Drive on when you're ready please. At the end of the road, turn left. An awkward junction, there's only room for one car at a time, even though it's a two-way street. Any traffic wanting to turn into our road, should wait for us to complete our turn now. It's hard to see the signs through the camera with the low sun, 
but there is a 50 sign and a left turn only sign. We'll be joining a dual carriageway. It's a very short slip road, so the candidate sensibly takes time to see it's clear before entering. And they use the slip road correctly. At the roundabout, follow the road ahead, second exit. The next few roundabouts are following the road ahead, and notice the candidate's excellent lane discipline, keeping to the left lane through the roundabouts of all different sizes. This bus lane is a 24-hour one, so we can't drive in it. The bus lane continues. At the next roundabout, we're going to follow the road ahead, second exit. At the end of the solid line the candidate could start to move to the left lane, ready for the roundabout. But then, I think they notice the arrows on the floor here, and take up the ideal lane for going ahead at the roundabout. The road markings help of course, but again, the candidate's lane discipline through the roundabout is excellent. At the roundabout, follow the road ahead, second exit. At the roundabout, again, follow the road ahead, second exit.
no arrows on the floor just before the roundabout, so the candidate chooses the ideal lane for going ahead, and again their lane discipline is excellent on the very tight and narrow roundabout. This bus lane has times of operation, which we are outside of, so we'll use the bus lane this time. Take the next road on the left please. No oncoming traffic on our side of the road around the bend, so we'll continue. At the traffic lights, turn right. Despite not having the green arrow, there's no one opposite to give way to, so we'll make the turn across. These next lights are repeater lights, and not for us. If we needed to stop at them, there would have to be a stop line here. At the roundabout, follow the road ahead, second exit. One more narrow roundabout, but the candidate again shows great lane discipline. At the roundabout, turn right, third exit.
The candidate could take up the right-hand lane a little earlier, but they didn't affect or confuse anyone with their positioning here. Again, a nice, empty roundabout. Take the next road on the left, then turn immediately right, heading back to the test center please. The candidate realizes the first car is parked, and the second one is far enough away. We'll drive through the gate, back into the car park, then, I want you to reverse into any bay please. Either on the left, or the right. The car park would usually be a lot busier than this. Even though the car park is virtually empty, still checking all around, including the opposite shoulder. OK, that's the end of the test, turn off your engine, give me a moment to do the paperwork. I'm pleased to say you've passed, there were just two faults for undue hesitation. Once at the roundabout, ahead, first exit, we almost stopped when no one was there, and following the road to the left through the village, again we almost stopped when it was our road to continue. It was decent though, well done.